This is the TPC Sawgrass Golf Course in Ponte Vedra, Florida, where the Players' Championship is played. It is one of the world's most iconic and challenging golf courses. Much of the 3D geometry that you're seeing here is provided by Bing Maps. I can zoom in to the holographic map using menu controls or by using voice commands. Go to the clubhouse. Using intuitive gestures, I can manipulate the map view. For example, I can easily pan the view using a simple tap and hold gesture. I have a number of other tools and commands available to me to manipulate the map, for example, zoom, rotation, but I can also annotate over the geometry. Now let's take a look at how we can overlay some useful information over the top of the holographic map. Go to hole 16. So here we'll check out hole 16, which is a long par five. We've integrated the PGA Tours shot link data that tracks every player's shot for tour events. Let's look at a heat map, which shows where all the player's shots landed during round one. Show heat map. So the red areas indicate places where many balls landed, but you'll also notice the shots that landed off into the water, as well as those shots that landed in the trees. Hide heat map, that'd be my shot. <laughs> We can also view the individual shots from every player across all the rounds overlaid on the course. Show shot arcs. So here we can see how Jonas Blixt eagled on hole 16 during round one of TPC this year. We can see his scorecard as well as his shot arcs overlaid on the map. Go to round three. As I switch between rounds, not only do the shot arcs update, but the pin positions and the tee-off points also update to the, the official locations for the round. It looks like Jonas birdied on round three. Let's move over to the famous hole 17. Go to hole 17. This par three hole is one of the toughest of the tour, and it features an island green that makes or breaks many a pro's golf round. Looks like Jonas did all right. However, on round three, Jonas was joined by Jason Day and Shane Lowry. Let's see how Shane and Jason measure up. Set player to Jason Day. All right, so here I can see Jason's shots on hole 17, but I can also compare players' shots together. Show comparison mode. Set bottom player to Shane Lowry. So now we can see Shane's scorecard added to the, the banner there, and we also see his shot arcs overlaid on the map in blue, adjacent to Jason Day's shot shown in yellow. Comparing their shots on round three, you can see they both made par, but let's go back around. Go to round two. As we compare them on round two, you'll see that Jason made par, however, Shane's tee shot landed in the water. That would also be my shot. Go to overview. So finally, we see how Jason and Shane compare across the entire course, uh, for this round anyway. Nobody could touch Jason Day this year at TPC, so uh, he went away with it. And I really appreciate the opportunity to show our experience here at uh, WPC. Yusuf, guys, back to you. Thanks, Kelly. That was super impressive. What?